The park was approached about applying for a National Parks Foundation grant to make improvements in the park to increase visitor satisfaction. And uh, we worked with ACE to develop a grant to construct the boardwalk here on Spanish Pond Trail. It's a very popular trail. We have average about 170,000 visitors per year on this trail. And there was a section of it that goes through a marshy area where the boardwalk was at the end of its life cycle and needed to be reconstructed and raised a little. So we thought this would be an excellent project for the ACE crew to work on and they could work with some of our more experienced maintenance staff who have expertise in carpentry and show them some of the finer points and l luckily receive the grant. Carpentry projects are pretty rare, especially on the southeast branch, especially on the eastern side. Um, so they got a lot of learning how to use a radial saw and circular saws and sawzaws, and as well as learning how to use a speed square, which is typically a lot of just carpentry work. For this part of the project, they got chainsaw training. The National Park Service hosted it for a week, as well as they got first aid training. We have a unit of the park, Kingsley Plantation, which is the oldest Spanish plantation in the state of Florida. And the cultural landscape out there has some areas that are overgrown. And it doesn't resemble what it would look like when it was in use. So they are doing some cultural landscape restoration, removing some undergrowth to open it up. This will allow us to do further remote sensing for archeological sites and provide a more accurate picture of how it looked when it was in use. This is very important to us. It's been something that we've been wanting to do for a number of years and just haven't had the staff to really accomplish this. One of the things that we really hope for is that some of the core members get an experience that they enjoy and if it working for the National Park Service is something that they want to do, they will have experiences in facility management and resource management. Certainly the boardwalk is a, a good mixture of both because it's protecting marshy area, a wetland in the park by not having people travel through that, but it's also picking up some of the skills from the facility side. And we're trying to expose them to a lot of different aspects of park management. And I think that, you know, we will continue to put in projects to receive funding to have them come and work with our staff because I think it's a great opportunity for us to get some things accomplished that we wouldn't otherwise be able to and at the same time provide an experience in outdoor leadership and working in preserving the natural and cultural resources that we have in the parks. Finishing that boardwalk was pretty, pretty special. But I, I, I really think it's been the connections. It's pretty rare. I have found that you don't get the type of um, hospitality and treatment that this park has really served the ACE crew, like housing and then the tour of the plantation, as well as what they did over at the boardwalk and making sure we feel like family instead of just like laborers. That's pretty rare and it's pretty special. And it means a lot to me anyways. Definitely have learned a lot so far. It was one of the MPS staff members who trained us in the uh, chainsaw training. It's been amazing to get to work alongside them and to know them and hopefully form some connections for you know future employment opportunities. I do hope to get into something that does deal with like uh, habitat management, restoration, and I hope that you know these connections that I'll make during my term will help me with that. You know, we've had a great experience working with ACE. There are a lot of student organizations out there that we get to work with, and we've been very pleased with the safety conscious efforts uh, from the ACE team, and we look forward to more partnerships in the future.